I double park that view sideways. When it comes to life, I do it my way. Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Unrooted Women's Basketball Edition. And my guest for this week's show is none other than senior post player on the women's basketball team here at Menlo College, Alyssa Gable. Alyssa, thanks so much for joining me on the show. Yeah, no problem. I love being here. Let's start by talking a little bit about yourself now. You're one of the four-year Oaks on this squad, and you've been here through a lot of ups and downs in this basketball program. How have those helped you grow as a person on and off the court? I would say that the biggest lesson that I've learned is the importance of team chemistry on the court and off the court. I think hanging out with your team, spending time with the people around you, and really getting to know each other is what leads to success. Okay. Um, another thing I also learned uh, is the importance of discipline uh, in school, I think, and in workouts and everything else. Like You learn it from your coaches and your teammates just to work hard in everything you do. And it really seems like the chemistry is starting to click pretty well yeah. here, at least last year and rolling into this year. Yeah. A lot of success for the Oaks. Now, during your Menlo days, you've also had the honor of being named the Sasha Brown Memorial Scholarship recipient uh, for the basketball team. What did that honor mean to you? Uh, it was just a really big acknowledgement of what I try to do every day. I try to come to practice with a positive attitude and I try to work hard for not only myself but my teammates and getting that award meant a lot um, and it just is a big uh, representation of what I try to be. All right, let's talk a little bit about the Menlo team now. The Oaks are riding a very deep roster to a perfect start here in 2018. Uh, what have you seen in this year's team that resembles last year's NAI tournament run? The fact that we compete every day, I think that although it may not be perfect and we may have ups and downs, uh, every day we come to practice and every game, no matter who we play, uh, we come to win and we come to, to uh, give a good performance. One of the more impressive things that I'd say about this team is the ability of the freshmen who are brand new to this program. They've stepped in and they've played some high impact minutes right away here this season. Uh, what have you seen from the freshmen that's allowed them to be successful? The freshmen have really stepped up to the plate. I think as returners, we have done a pretty good job of setting the bar and, uh, and saying what are our goals for this upcoming year. And I think that the freshmen have really picked up on that and they've delivered, so they've done a great job. Who's really stood out to you so far? Um, I would say Jill has been the biggest standout. Uh, she works really hard in practice and it shows in games. And playing a similar style to the way you play as yeah. well. Now, so now, when you're playing alongside Aaliyah Brantley and Destiny Bowie, two of the best rebounders and scorers on the team, uh, what do you admire about their game? I would say just their aggressive nature. I think that they're always going hard, um, always taking advantage of the, their capabilities in the post. Um, in practice, they push me to be better. Uh, you know, I have to remember how to not get blocked by <laughs> one of them every day. So that's like... Uh, the biggest thing for me, um, and they're a lot of fun. That's yeah. I think that they love being in the game and they love playing, and I think that that's one thing that I love playing with them. By the way, how do you not get blocked by AB? Oh, you know, it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, oh, she's really long arms. I swear. Sometimes I think, you know, I got her. Oh, I took her off the dribble, and the next thing I know, boo, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so. Most of the time, it's a lot of reverse layups that yeah. I try to do. Are there things that you've tried to pick up from them to, and, and take to your skill set? Um, really just, I would say, like, I was never really a back-to-the-basket player. And I think now that I've trained with them a little bit more, I've developed more of a, like, I can do a one dribble to the basket. Um, just more comfortable with it. Yeah. So. Now, as Menlo continues in the non-conference portion of the schedule, do you feel as if this team is getting better every single day in advance of conference play, which starts at the end of this month? I would say yes. Um, I think that every day, like I said, although not everything's every day is perfect, I think that we always come with the mindset and and prepared in practice to be great and to be better. And you know, our coach is always telling us when we're not. So yeah. I think that every day, even though not everything's perfect all the time, we definitely make strides. Yeah. And while you guys are 4-0 so far, I'm sure there's still a lot to be worked on before yeah. your next game <laughs> against Cal Maritime this weekend. All right, Alyssa, let's get into the final segment of the show. It's called Brownie Bites. I'm going to ask you three off-the-wall questions. Give me your best answers. Question number one, which teammate would make the best rapper? Definitely Destiny. Why so? She is just always singing and dancing and having a great time. I think she would take to rapping the best. Do you think she everybody. could freestyle? Yeah, I think that she's constantly remixing songs on her own, so I, <laughs> I think she could, yeah, she could make a song. Do you uh, think you could rap? Ooh, not really. I'm not like a, the rapper <laughs> of the okay. team, yeah. Okay, don't worry, I won't put you on the spot I was, like that. <laughs> no, because be I nervous. would hate to be put on the spot for something like that, <laughs> Yeah. so I, there's, there's no chance I'm going to make you do that. But question number two kind of piggybacks off that. If a teammate were to give you a rapper name, 
who would give you that name and what would the name be? Hmm. Um, I would say Mrs. A from the Bay, probably. And I would also say the person who gave me the name would probably be Destiny. Um, she's just so outgoing and constantly creative with her language. Yeah. So, yeah. Mrs. A from the Bay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Has a good flow to it. <laughs> Any others that you can think of? I know we were talking off the air about a few of them. Yeah. Um, I guess. Lissy G or Liss with like dollar signs, you know. So would it be, so in that case, would it, would it still be Liss or would it be like Liss? <laughs> I guess it would, Liss. Or like Liss, uh, ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Like, I like I that one, but a Liss, ka <laughs> And it's just the image of me making it rain. Yeah, right? Like some some dollar sign emojis, you know? Yeah. Or maybe like the, the face with the, uh, with the, isn't it like he's got the tongue sticking out, but it's a dollar sign instead, oh, or the eyes dollar yeah. signs? I mean, I think the best would be the sunglasses with these dollar signs. Since that's been oh, my yes. look lately. Exactly. That just looks cool. <laughs> yeah. That's that's just cooler. And then question number three: Which teammate would make the best outdoor hermit? Uh, um, I'd probably say Jill. Uh, her favorite thing to do is crabbing. So crabbing. Yeah, I don't ask me what that is. I have no idea. Okay. But that's her favorite uh, outdoor activity, and she just seems like she really takes the outdoors. So. That's okay, so through a quick internet search, and thank you Urban Dictionary for providing this definition of crabbing, it is simply the act of catching crabs, fishing for crabs. Yeah. I hope. So, <laughs> Jillian, I'm going to have to talk to you about this and see if that's actually what you mean by crabbing, because I have no idea. The only o other definition was walking sideways like a yeah. crab, and I don't think Jillian enjoys yeah. doing that. With Jill, you never know. <laughs> I, I guess you're right. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Alyssa, thank you for joining me on the show. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome, folks. The women's basketball team, they're on the road this weekend as they head to Vallejo to take on Cal Maritime this weekend. It's a Saturday contest. Tip off at 3.30 p.m. in Vallejo, and they'll come back home the day before Thanksgiving as they take on Southern Oregon University at 2 o'clock inside Haynes Prim Pavilion. We invite you to tune in to next week's episode of Unrooted when Alyssa Gable will select the next interviewee by me, Brian Brownfield, right here on the show. Until then, we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Pull up with that new new in the driveway. So fresh, I double park that view sideways. When it comes to life, I do it my way. Smoked out one.